Good morning, First Presbyterian Church family. I hope this finds you well on Thursday, May 26. And I must admit, I'm having to say, what exactly day of the week is this? Um, this has been a hard week in many respects. Still, many of us grieving in our own way as we reflect on the situation, what happened in Uvalde. Um, last night, um, I was at the Shepherd home and Matthew Shepherd has passed away. Uh, at this point, this Thursday, um, many details are pending. Simply ask that you remember the Shepherd and Shepherd Mahaffey family uh, in your prayers at this time, the whole extended network. I've been in contact with Reverend Krieger and Reverend Meissner and uh, they will be able to respond. Again, I was there last night. They'll be able to respond going forward. And as we have news, plant news, we will uh, communicate that to you all. Uh, I will be away. Uh, that will continue to be away with my family uh, starting today. Uh, but we'll be uh, thinking of you all, reflecting uh, with you all uh, in these days to come. And we'll be back in time for Pentecost. I want to leave you with this prayer. I've come doing a collection of prayers you know, from the book that which I have used frequently over these last several years, uh, the, um, the Valley of Vision. And so let us pray. Life-giving God, quicken me to call upon your name. For my thoughts are vacant and my affections earthly my heart unbelieving and my mind is unknowing, and only your spirit can help my infirmities. I approach you as father and friend, my portion forever, my exceeding joy, my strength of heart. May the truth that is in you illuminate in me all that is dark, establish in me all that is wavering, comfort in me all that is wretched, accomplish in me all that is of your goodness and glorify in me the name of Jesus Christ. I pass through a veil of tears, but bless you for opening the gates of glory at its end. Prepare me for every part of my pilgrimage. Uphold my steps by your word. Let no iniquity dominate me. Teach me that Christ cannot be the way if I am the end that he cannot be redeemer if I am my own savior, and there can be no true union with him while the heart, while the creature has my heart, that faith accepts him as redeemer and Lord of all. Father of mercies, hear me for Jesus' sake. Strengthen me. Empower me. Keep me sensible. Let every trial teach me more of your peace and your love. May the Holy Spirit increase his grace in me and confirm my trust in your promised help. And let me walk in humble dependence upon you for Jesus' sake. Amen. I wish you well, and I will see you all in June.